What's up, everyone? It's me, Adam Prime, and we are back for a very familiar Geats item in the Premium DX Mori Memorial Laser Rays Riser. Try to say that three times fast. Um, this is a updated and upgraded version of the Laser Rays Riser, which was a toy I already really liked. But this one even had an extra little promo item bonus because if you bought in a certain set of time you got the black laser rays riser cards and from what i thought were going to be the only way to get them but we'll get back to these in a little bit and a question i have but we got that and we got this beautiful box with zine or gene or whatever you want to call him up front we get the memorial laser rays riser we get it in the back says it on the side desired grand prix gobbledygook toei is always watching um this kind of sticker i don't know what that sticker is for we got all four of the cards up top and on the back we get this really nice picture of kakura zine baroba and kyun ready fight and yeah that's uh that's the box very simple but i do like it i like this shot and uh, this is a very interesting toy, and a lot of this will be comparisons, but there are a ton of new sounds in this, and I will say right now, if you do not own the Laser Razor Riser and you can get your hands on this one instead, because I guess those were hard to come by, I would say pick this one up over the original. But we'll get to that in a little bit, so let's get it in here, and we'll see what it can do. And here is the Memorial Laser Rays Riser. And the cards that it comes with, with the two promo ones. And I have a real quick thing. Um, let's go over the cards real quick. I'm just going to pull out the Zine card and bring in the original Zine card. I don't see much of a difference. One is supposedly more show accurate, and the only reason I can tell them apart is... This one has a sticker, and maybe the colors are more vibrant? I guess I really don't know that much of a difference. If you look at their little barcodes thing, it is exactly the same. Um, so yeah, there is no difference, so I'm really not going to be bringing back the others for comparison, because there are so little differences, what, what, I, I don't see a point, so yeah. You can use them in either or. You can even use this one in the new one if you really wanted to. But we got that. We also got Kakura. And we get the Tycoon on the back, which looks really cool. And now my big mystery. Um, I don't know how I got two of these. Um, when I opened the box... I also had a set of the black premium cards of the for Baroba and Kakura. Um, I can't realize a difference. One came with instructions, so I know one's a different item, and my laser razor riser wasn't open. So for whatever reason, I ended up with two, <laughs> which is kind of neat. But yeah, they are identical, so I am not going to use both of them in the driver but yeah and next up we got kyun which still has the lion face and we got baroba we got buffa on the back and you got the jamato form which if i remember correctly these were the king and queen jamato like i said like another one i i don't i don't know the difference but i have two of them which i do not mind because that at least means if anything happens, I have a spare. So, honestly, the cards are just like last time. They're neat things to have. But, like, I don't know. It's like, they're cool. The only thing is, I already thought they were cool when I was messing with them the first time. These are not that different. So, overall, I do not mind. I do like that we do get the two premium black cards and they are now new sounds that are in this and are not in the old one so if we bring in i'm realizing i want to turn this off make sure they're both off the original laser rays riser 
Um, they look very similar, but you obviously have this flat, like purple plastic, which it's now metallic. That's one of the bigger ones. Um, the handle is still the same size. You have a clear trigger on the original DX and a silver trigger on this one. And uh, the rails are the exact same. So there is no differences there. They are both 75. And they both still have this being able to detach. So yeah, they are very similar and just to get it out of the way um if we turn them both on well if we turn this one on this is the memorial and if we turn them on at the same time And it just sounds like they do the same sounds, and you can do pretty much the same generic shooty sounds. So, those are both, both, um, very similar. So, there you go. And, before we go back to the DX one... No, let's go back to the DX one. So, if you try to use the premium cards in the new, the old DX Laser Rays riser, it doesn't even recognize it. It will make no sounds. It has no reactions to putting either of these cards in the new one. Like, it will read the other cards like the old ones. So, if I use Kekura. So, yeah, it just does not have the power to read that. So, putting that away, we got pretty much, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. And this is pretty much, there's two modes. We are in the pretty much standard mode, which will just give you these blasty sounds. And if you want to transform, we will, in this mode, I'm going to go just through zines and then in the quote-unquote dialogue mode we will go through the other cards because there are more sounds there and we'll even redo zines so we'll just shove this in it hit up nothing and if you hit And if you hit the shoot button, get the generic shot. And if you hold it, you actually get a special attack sound now. Of like him using his gravity attacks, I guess. Oh, I might have interrupted it, but whatever. Um, and that is it. But if we turn it off and you hold the button and turn it back on. If I can find the on and off switch. And now if you click the trigger, you get phrases. And we went around, and those are all Jean's phrases. And if you hold it, nothing happens. Now if we transform, and you push up on this, 
You hear him snap. You hear him say transform. And much like in the other mode, you get... You get that sound. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. This is a really long sound. <laughs> Phrases. And that is it for the zine mode. So we are done with the zine card. So next up, we will go to Kakra. And if you pull this up while in this dialogue mode. You start going into uh, Kakura mode, and if you hit the trigger, I love that we have one of him just laughing. I love it so much. And we rolled over. So, let's put it in. And if you hold the trigger now, you get actual frog fr sounds. I want to say that's just the same sound. Yeah. So, I don't think I'm going to be doing the victories for um, the re regular standard ones. It's just the same attack. But, yeah, he doesn't have any phrases with the standard frog. So, he does not get any phrases with that one. But, we also have the... Um, premium version. We'll just do this one next. We get a new f sound. Nothing. We get a new standby music. Still use his tongue whip. Mm. Got some nice new standby music. So, you do get some new attacks, and that's nice. <laughs> and that's it. And that's it for the Kakara cards, but I honestly do like those a lot. And if we move into the next mode...
we go into Cunes. Yep. I think that's me looping. Yeah, I think I looped. So, let's put his card in. Slide it in. He has two different henshins. Now we get a lion roller. I do appreciate that they added those sounds to them because the original Laser Rays Riser really didn't have that. It was just the shooty sound. So I do appreciate they now have unique sounds for the supporter, different supporters. Too bad the, this, that's the same. Now we get his phrases. And we're done. And that's it for Kune. And last but not but not least, we got Baroba. Is that her dying? Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oops. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, we will now go to Baroba's. And if we put it in, was it always this long? You actually get a new shot sound. Bigger shots. But you don't get anything for holding the button. But at least it's something unique. That does actually sound slightly different. It's the same one. Is that what she said before she blew up the Gemma Garden? I think so. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> That's just creepy. Jeez. And there we go. I do like that it has a good signifier for when it's over, because it will just go back to the attacks. Next, we got Premium Baroba. New voice. Nothing. Got this cool standby music.
No, just standard shots. I don't know if that's different from Kakura's, but we haven't heard it that much. There you go. So yeah, there we go. And that's it. And that is all the sounds the cards will do. But there are a few added to the when you use it in the driver. So let's bring in the desire driver. And let me bring in the boost mark two. And shove it in. Come on. One half wants to work, but the other half does not. Okay. Let's get that. Okay. I don't know why one half doesn't want to work. All right. Let's use it in the driver. There we go. And. And you get the standard. But if you hit this one, and if you hit this, got that sweet standby music again. I think that's the same attack, but there you go. We got, we got some more phrases. And there you go. And that is pretty much it for the new Memorial Laser Rays Riser. And overall, it is really cool. It's something I will say, if you don't have the original, pick this version up. Pick up this version because it is just better than the original. With more sounds, more cards you can do. I'm going to shut this off. I just wanted to have it in there just for cool looks. Um, you got some new cards. You got some cool classic cards. You got the original ones. And it's just a ton of fun. It's a thing I really do like a lot. What do you guys think? As much as it does suck that I now have two of them, but honestly, I don't mind having two of them because I think they're both really cool. And I can highly recommend this one. Especially now that this one is out, I can definitely say you don't need the old one. You get all of the cards pretty much. And for a limited time, you did get these cards for free. So I don't know if all sets got end up getting all the black cards or not. But I don't, I'm not sure. So maybe I was just lucky and I got all six in my box. And or it's a limited time thing. Who knows? Um, overall, I can say that this is just one really nice package for everything you get. And it wasn't even that bad, so I can highly recommend it. If you don't have a Laser Rays Riser, um, definitely pick this one up and pass on the original. And if you have the original one, there's a little bit of reason to get this because it has it's just such an improved version of the original. And honestly, I like that all the supporters now have their own unique sounds. But what do you guys think of the new Laser Rays Riser? Overall, I'm going to say I'm pretty positive and I like it a lot. And, you know, if you can get it for a good price, track it down. But if you can find the other one for a good price, you know, maybe. Oh, I'm going to say definitely try to pick, over, pick this one up over the DX. That's what I can say. I think it's 
better than the DX. So, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching, and until whatever I do next, bye-bye!